Okay, this is Sandy Minkle. I am with Linda Manning, who is in Cambridge, New Zealand, south of Auckland. And we have had the most beautiful conversation. I was just praying uh, to God this morning that he would bring me somebody uh, who was being brave. And as I've talked with Linda, I'm, I'm realizing, Linda, that you are being so very brave. Mm. <laughs> and I so honor that. And I was wondering if you would talk a little bit about what that looks like for you right now. Mm. Yeah, I, you know, being brave is not, uh, is not about uh, not being afraid. <laughs> it, it is about um, being afraid and, and yet doing what you, what you know God is calling you to do. Um, and even in the face of opposition or um, misunderstandings and, yeah, people just um, not knowing what I'm up to and, and expressing that. Um, and, yeah, at times over the last few months, it's, it's, um, it's been a bit lonely. Yeah. 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 So where, where has your encouragement come from? as you felt lonely and well i'm i am really thankful for luke 10 and um particularly my leader team um we meet every week and oh, those guys are just so encouraging i would never have believed it uh, that you could actually be you could you could connect so closely um with people who live um many thousands of miles away, you know, in a completely different country. And yet it's like, there's just no distance between us. And we come together and we, and we check in and we share with one another. We pray with one another. Um, we listen to Jesus together. And, um, you know, the presence of God is just, is right there. I just often, I can just really sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit and, um, it's just it's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. So I was just thinking the other day um, how grateful I am, how thankful I am that I have this group of, um, of brothers and sisters um, uh, to share with. And I feel like they've got my back, you know, and um, even, you know, so we only meet once a week, but during the week it's like the Lord will, will um, prompt me to think about them and to pray for one of them. And, uh, and I know that they do the same. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just been so encouraging, so encouraging. Because when I, when I left where I was, when I left the tradition um, that, that I'd been in um, for a very long time, because I felt like God was calling me to something new, but he didn't, revealed to me what it was that he was calling me to so it was a pretty scary thing and I had um yeah people were, people were um quite concerned for me they thought that I was um doing something a bit weird or that I was um going to go off the road oh, go off the rails you know yeah. um so yeah um it's yeah it's like God has provided for me um he wanted me to 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 step out and do this new thing, this um, thing that feels lonely, and it, and um, it certainly takes a lot of courage. It's not for the faint-hearted, um, but I'm really passionate about wanting to see His kingdom um, where I live and wanting to. Um, learn how to be a disciple who makes disciples mm. and I've never really known how to do that before mm -hmm. and I'm learning he's, he's teaching me um, and so yeah the group that I meet with um, every week is so much just a part of a part of that journey so yeah and you've been leading church 101 groups Yes, um, I, I jumped in to do that. I was a bit reluctant, um, a bit scared about that. I felt, you know, I've always felt like, well, I, I, I don't, I don't have a good memory for the scriptures. Well, 
you know, I, I know the scriptures quite well, but I can't quote chapter and verse very well. And so, oh my goodness, can I really, can I really lead a group? So that was a bit scary. But, you know, I just, I was encouraged um, um, in, in, in my leader team to do that. And also I knew that, okay, this is the next step. This is the next thing that you do. And it's been so exciting. It's been, it's been wonderful. And le I'm learning, I'm learning such a lot because the, the, the neat thing is that I'm not the leader of the group. Jesus is the leader of the group. And we we share with one another, and we and we and we teach one another, and um, so it's just um yeah, looking forward to the next round, which is starting on the thirtieth of October, and um, yeah, with another group of people, it will be yeah, be really exciting. So once you've been brave the first time, is it easier the second time and the third time? Ah, uh, definitely. Definitely it is. I think probably one of the things that I that I've needed to be really brave about though is um you know the community where I live, um feeling misunderstood in the community where I live. Um that's that's difficult. But I think that people are gradually figuring out that um, you know, Linda's not actually doing something weird. She's still the same as she always was. She still loves Jesus. She's still obviously reading the Bible um, because she, she's, um, you know, frequently quoting um, scripture, etc., cetera, um, on Facebook. So it looks like she's, she hasn't strayed too far. So you haven't had a crisis of faith. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And you have a, a really amazing and brave dream too. Would you tell me about that? I do. I have this crazy dream. Um, we have 500 towns in New Zealand. So we're just a little country really, but we have 500 towns. And I, I, look, I Googled, you know, towns in New Zealand and you get this alphabetical list and I counted them all up and there's 500. It probably give or take, so there'll be a few little villages that are probably not not mentioned in there, but basically five hundred towns. And I I pray to the Lord of the Harvest, Lord, plant a church, plant churches in every one of those towns, and and I'd love to be part of that, I'm part of what you're doing, Lord. So I pray for those towns. And um, I have a crazy dream that one day um, in the not too distant future, my husband and I will travel, begin to travel the country. We've always wanted to do that anyway. But now I have a goal and I want to travel to each one of those towns. And I want, oh, I'm feeling a little bit emotional now just talking about it. I want to find the person of peace in each and every town and um, and just be able, maybe, maybe pray for that person, maybe pray with that person, maybe introduce them to Jesus. <laughs> Who knows? But, um, but that's the crazy dream that I have. Um, you know, I don't know how long it will take. We're, um, he'll be retired soon. And so we'll have a bit of time and we'll we had always planned that we would do road trips around our country anyway and we would like to visit most of the country but now i have this goal you know and um, i'll be ticking off the towns as we go so yeah that's fantastic <laughs> i can't wait to follow up on that yeah. hear yeah. how it's going yes i'll have to post a photograph in each town and yes yes yeah. do that. In the, do, it in, do it in the um, Loop 10 community or in the leaders. Yes, community. yes. Fantastic. Thank you yes. so much, Linda. Mm, oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah.